In the previous module, we have introduced sinusoids, both the continuous time and the discrete time. Let us look more into it. We have defined the continuous time sinusoid as x of t equals to a cos 2 pi f t capital F t plus theta. Without loss of generality, let's consider this a as 1 whereas theta as 0 just for the sake of simplification and without loss of generality. So this x of t becomes simply as cos 2 pi capital F t. And if we like to sample this x of t, it becomes n t as equals to cos 2 pi f into n t s. This n t s indicates that we are taking samples at every integer multiple of the sampling duration t s. So this is this indicates samples being taken at every integer multiple of sampling duration. That is Ts. So the signal becomes x of n Ts equals to cos 2 pi f by fs just because this fs is inverse of ts so the sampling frequency fs is simply the inverse of sampling duration and we have given a different notation to this ratio so that becomes cos of 2 pi small f into n where the small f is capital F by fs and we have named that as discrete frequency. Let's look at this small f in more detail. The small f here is capital F by fs. What is capital F? Capital F is the frequency, the actual frequency of the signal that we are looking at. It simply indicates how many cycles are there in one second. Say for example, if I am drawing a signal, something like this. And let this duration be one second. Then we say that there is only one cycle that is present in one second. So that is nothing but the f here. One cycle per second. Now what is this fs? fs is the sampling frequency that means how many samples have we taken along this signal. So for discrete case we'll have to take samples at every integer multiple of the sampling duration. So let the first sample be here, the next sample be say here and the distance between the two consecutive samples is ts that is the sampling duration. So here this is ts. So like such we are taking all the samples at every integer multiple of ts 
So here the sampling frequency indicates how many samples have we taken along the signal. So suppose there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have taken 10 samples in one second. So Fs here is 10, whereas capital F is 1. Of course, this x is being along t. So this original signal x of t is being sampled to get x of n. So this capital Fs is sampling frequency that indicate samples per second. So in this example here small f is small f is 1 by 10 just because there are 10 samples there are 10 samples that composes one cycle so one cycle is composed of 10 samples you can see that let's try to plot this so the signal here this in this example is cos 2 pi small f is 1 by 10 so let that be 0.1 and if try to plot this signal now I'll be plotting that using the software platform MATLAB you can use other softwares also there are very good cloud services that are available Scilab or GNU Octave is the closest open source alternative to MATLAB but here I would like to demonstrate that on MATLAB in order to plot that signal I will make the expression like cos of 2 pi into 0.1 into n here indicates the sample number so here I have taken 50 samples from 0 to 49 that makes 50 samples and if I try to plot this the signal would appear something like this you may see that in one cycle here there are 10 samples you may count that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and from 11 sample onwards the next cycle starts so one cycle is composed of 10 samples that is what the small f indicates so here small f is the cycles per samples so in our example of cos 2 pi 0.1 n small f is 0.1 that is one cycle per 10 samples now what is the period here well this small f as we have seen is the ratio of two integers the signal repeats after every 10 samples you may observe that here you may see that the signal repeats itself after every 10 samples so this is a 10 sample and 11 sample is as good as as the first sample similarly you may see here the other samples are also repeating after every 10 samples So here the period is 10 so I'll write that that this signal is periodic with period n equals to 10 Let's see some more examples.
let an example be x of t now i am considering the continuous time case let it be simply as cos t what is the period here well continuous time signals are periodic with period capital t the capital t here is the inverse of frequency and we can easily see from the coefficients of the small t that 2 pi f here is 1 that means capital f is 1 upon 2 pi that is t equals to 2 pi therefore this signal is periodic with period 2 pi let's take equivalent discrete time example so if we have x of n say for example equals to cos of n and if we try to find out whether this signal is periodic or not we'll have to first find out what is f small f so in this case the coefficient of small n is 2 pi small f that is 1 so small f here is 1 upon 2 pi now as we have just seen what is small f small f is number of cycles per samples so if we try to interpret this it is like one cycle is composed of 2 pi samples well that sound weird 2 pi samples well the number of samples are integer number it's an integer number so one cycle composed of 2 pi samples doesn't make sense we have seen that the small f must be a rational number it must be a ratio of two integers if it is not then it is not a periodic signal so this signal is not periodic as f is irrational let's try to plot this signal say for 50 samples again so in this example i have simply plotted cos of n so i'll simply delete this and try to run this you may get the plot something like this now look at this plot this plot here appears like a sinusoid but it's not periodic you may observe that from the peaks the peak here after completion of one cycle we are not obtaining the same peak here similarly for the another cycle the same peak is not available and so on you may look at the values the values are not repeated this is because the small f is irrational you take any any of the period it's not periodic the signal itself is not periodic you may observe that from the tips of this signal the signal is not periodic although it might appear to be cyclic in nature but it's not periodic because a sample at a place is not getting repeated after certain duration it's not the same sample that we have in the previous period so if we take this sample here after completion of one cycle it's not the same sample that appears here similarly for the consecutive cycles so this signal is not periodic and that can be seen just because small f is an irrational number let's take some more examples example
सी कॉस एक्स ऑफ टी इक्वल्स टू कॉस टू पाई बाय थ्री टी इज द सिग्नल पीरियोडिक यस वी कैन सी दैट दिस कोफिशेंट हियर ऑफ टी इज simply capital f into 2 pi so that is 2 pi by 3 and capital f is 1 by 3 so t here is 3 therefore the signal is periodic periodic with period t equals to 3 Let's consider similar case for discrete time case. Example, x of n equals to cos two pi by three n. Is the signal periodic? Well, in order to find that, we'll have to look at what is small f here. So here, two pi small f is two pi by three. So small f is one by three, or this is a ratio of two integers. We can easily see that it is one cycle is composed of three samples. So this is periodic. Yes, periodic. With period three, let's try to plot this discrete time signal two pi by three and cos two pi by three n. So it is cos two pi. I'll write as two by three into pi into n. So if I try to plot this, you can see that. So this is periodic. You can see that for each and every sample, each and every cycle is being repeated, and you may see that one cycle is composed of just three samples. You can see that from here. From here. to there it becomes one cycle so 1 2 and 3 only three samples per one cycle so this signal is you can see as it is a periodic signal you can see from peak to peak also 1 2 and 3 so three samples per one cycle and after fourth sample onward the signal repeats we shall see more on this in the next module thank you